Welcome back to Breakfast Television on this Friday. Good morning. Tammy, Devo, Sid here with you. Dina is back next week. Uh, one of the biggest stories in the world right now is that Brittany Griner is home. The WNBA star, uh, after nearly 300 days in Russian prisons, has arrived in the United States. Griner's release marks one of the most high-profile prisoner swaps between Russia and the States since the Cold War. The prisoner she was traded for is an arms dealer named Victor Bout, uh, one of allegedly the most dangerous people on earth, as has been described by U.S. intelligence, uh, an alleged arms dealer who Russia really, really, really wanted back on their home soil. I wonder why that's the case. Um, footage was released of Brittany Griner on a plane home yesterday. Take a look at this. What's your mood? Happy. Happy. Well, are you ready for one flight? Uh, yes. Yeah. Do you know where I'm heading to? No. No? No. 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 You fly back home? To, to the U.S.? To the U.S. Oh, okay. 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 Everything will be fine. So uh, that was a really interesting moment there, and you can tell she's been through a lot because she almost didn't know how to react to it. Mm -hmm. The reaction to this, Tam, uh, especially in the United States, has been quite something to watch, maybe predictable, but still shocking in a lot of ways. What do you make of this entire story? Uh, I, I think it's I'm elated for her and uh, for her wife, for her family, uh, that she's able to come home. You don't often see a resolution to these issues as, I, I don't want to use the word quickly because it's not quick uh -huh. at all for her family or for herself who's been, you know, in this detention center in Russia. But it's come to a conclusion at a point where, uh, you know, 10 months later, considering there are people who have been wrongfully detained in Russia and other countries for years on end. And that was one of the reactions uh, that you saw immediately. Uh, a man named Paul Whelan, who uh, has been imprisoned in Russia since 2018, is still there. And uh, his case is not being treated the same as uh, Brittany's case is. And that's why he was not exchange part of this exchange at all. But, uh, you know, there is that, that side of it, too. You just you have to be happy while you're thinking of the families of those who are still not back home. You've seen it get polarizing, as you said. It's not surprising. Immediately. It's, it's, yeah. it's America. Immediately. It's going to do that, right? It's going to happen. Um, Brittany, and then people are saying high-profile athlete, getting more attention, going to get more uh, kind of privilege and, and people coming to help. Yes. She was still there for 300 days uh, for something that was pretty. Look, I say when you go to another country, take off your shoes. You know, you're going into someone else's home. Act appropriately. But this was ridiculous, or what she was there for. Cannabis oil. For cannabis, cannabis oil. Cannabis oil in her luggage. Traces yeah. of cannabis. Very small amounts of in, in a And that's vape. the thing. I don't know if you guys ever watched the show, I Banged Up Abroad, Turned Into Locked Up Abroad, mm -hmm. where they would show those kind of cases and things like that, where people were like, drug mules. She wasn't a drug mule, man. Like, she was doing this stuff. Um, but uh, people were saying it's also embarrassing that they had to get to this point, and you traded back one of the most evil people on this planet during a war. That is scary, because what is this guy capable of doing now that adds to what's already happening, which is already scary? I mean, he's capable of, based on what you read, basically anything. Mm -hmm. uh, to be an arms dealer in a moment in time where Russia reportedly are, are really uh, getting low on arms while they run this, this terrorist war on, on Ukraine. It, the timing, the timing is is fairly transparent. Am I alone in this? Like no. this is no. this is not this is not an accident that Russia needs an arms dealer right now. Like immediately they needed this person back on soil. I wonder what the at reaction is now from Ukraine and from Ukrainians right. around the There's world. There's no way they like it. Right. There's no Seeing way. Seeing this, yeah. he's been nicknamed Victor Bout, this arms dealer, the Merchant of Death, is his nickname. So that tells you. Yeah. Everything. It's, you it's, 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 yeah. Yeah. In terms of nicknames you don't want, mm -hmm. or maybe you do want, depends on who you are. Yeah. Um, one last thing, because the one, the one thing um, I, I, really, I truly feel about this is if Brittany Griner was not a black woman, the discussion in the United States of America would be very, very different. Mm -hmm. And Trevor Noah had his last Daily Show last night, kind of slid under the radar. But as he was signing off, and you know how Trevor Noah sometimes just talks to the audience yeah. for like 20 minutes, and it's fascinating stuff. Um, Trevor Noah said this at one point. He goes, if you truly want to learn about America, talk to black women. Because they don't have the luxury to F around and find out. 
when things get bad in America, and you want to bring it to Canada, go ahead. There are certain people who get it way worse than everyone else. And, and black women have historically gotten it way worse. And, that, and the most irritating part of the story, to me, not irritating, infuriating, is that Brittany Griner is being vilified for being saved before Christmas and returned to her family because of who she is. Now, it's never an easy thing. I would never want to be a leader in this spot. This is one of the most difficult, other than going to war, this is one of the most difficult decisions you make because you have families all over the place saying, what about my son? Mm -hmm. What about my dad? Because yeah. this, is, this is not a new thing in global politics, just have people hijacked uh, in order to, sw to swap prisoners. But the reaction in the States to Brittany Griner is poisonous. Poisonous, what I've seen in the last 24 hours. And it was completely predictable. And that country has a lot of work to do. We're not perfect here either. Mm -hmm. That country has a lot of work to do. All right. Uh, any thoughts on this at Breakfast TV? This is, this is the biggest, one of the biggest stories on earth right now.